Shrink that. Drink that. Shrink that. Shrink, drink, 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 drink that. To shrink that. You got to drink that. And shrink that weight away. You've been wanting to lose that weight for some time. But you don't know what else to do. Hey, hey, hey. Drink to shrink plus lipo, liquid lipo trim 365. What I can tell you is that I'm going. <laughs> I am really going. Um, back to going back more often now that I'm back on my drink to shrink. And I was doing that before I started drinking. The, um, the liquid lipo also was causing me to go which is amazing but even more so with my drink to shrink so what i did was this is my first dosage for today and only dosage um yesterday i had my drink to shrink coffee uh for breakfast i think i did that monday and two what is today monday and tuesday so this morning i didn't take it with me but i did have my liquid lipo with me because it stays in my bag so i just pulled that out and um i got two of the other products that i sell trying them out i'll let you know about those and the effects i'm having with them um one is called boost the other one is called shield boost is basically what it means or what it says um it gives you a burst of energy um not sure if i'm you know feeling it right now i can't really tell because i'm very sleepy um but i do well i guess i can tell um i'm not very sleepy but i am a bit sleepy um that's from just staying up all night or going to bed late because i launched my online store monday Woohoo! so this is the boost this alternate doesn't matter it makes it backwards but this is the boost again it's um for energy and then we have the shield which helps support your immune system uh i tell you here in houston texas honey um this pollen is still here it it ain't left is i don't think it ever leaves now that i think about it thank god i don't have allergies like other people who i have a friend who has it really really badly my husband um but man because I, I feel scratchy here scratchy here and um my ear inner ear itches and yeah <clears throat> and that happens when i don't have the mask on um so i'm always wearing the mask but lately I have not been walking out of the house with the mask because I go in with the mask, but I don't put that same mask back on. They're disposable, so I don't put them on. And my other masks that I have, my cloth ones, I don't really like those because it makes me really, really hot, you know? So um, this is what happens. Eyes are itching just a little bit as well. But again, I don't have it as badly as other people. Thank God for that. But that that I do have, you know, I'm ready for it to go. Bye-bye. But it has been so um, prominent and um, just out here in these streets, this atmospheric street. So I'm praying that um, I'm delivered and healed from that. But in the meantime, I will be drinking this. Let me just go ahead and drink it now. I have the, um, I think it's a green berry along with my Laura Greens. my um greens it's another product that i sell um it helps with um balancing out your blood levels um as well your insulin levels which still has to do with your blood um i'm not a nutritionist i'm not a doctor or medical scientist or anything like that this is just what i've read and researched that it's supposed to do it supports that but i tell you what i have a client that um she started with me maybe a month or so ago maybe two months now with drink to shrink only and she did pretty okay 
but you know holidays vacations and things like that people don't continue to eat you know properly so she fell off but she got back on uh maybe two weeks now ago and um so she set up for three weeks with the drink to shrink and i also introduced her to the greens and honey let me tell you what the greens do for you if you have a lot of inflammation if you have a lot of water retention and things like that it will definitely flush you out and i tell her to do it just like i do it i put it with my drink to shrink so that's like a double whammy uh so she is really enjoying it and um i enjoy it and when i first tasted it last year honey because they said it just tells you to put it in some water mm -mm. it was too strong it was too strong and if you've watched any of my past videos you know that i am not a fan of nasty taste not saying that it was nasty it was just strong and it was a different taste but i'm used to it now and i continually you know mix it with my um my drink to shrink and i just really i, I love the taste sit in the front picking up my daughter um i already have my other two sons in here they get out a little bit early <sighs> but anyway as i was saying um so yeah i'm just um coming in here in here on here to share with you guys a little bit about my products and things like that again um still will ever forever get with and stay with drink to shrink because it does work i have to work it you have to work it no matter what product it is so if you want to try it feel free to go try it www.bngoodhealth.com that's www.bng o o d h l t h dot com the only reason i spelled health that way is because somebody already had the whole word so yes ma'am if i like finish the finish up the room can i go to my wife and let her birthday is tomorrow uh, not today you mean for tomorrow not today because I'm going to go pick up London. No, so y'all are not going home right now. I'm going to pick up something to eat and we are hitting the freeway. So anyway, yeah, so go ahead and, and order it from my website and you'll see all of the products that I offer there. If you're not in Houston, um, I got you. I just have to ship it to you and it can't be pre-made, but I guarantee you I have a video on here that I will shoot to you to let you know how to make it to make sure that you're making it properly and that you make it to the way to um to where it's very potent meaning strong so that all of the herbs that are all nine of the herbs are there and it helps the body do what it do get rid of the waste so with that being said like and subscribe continue to watch my journey i have several journeys here but just the journey of my life you know how um the transformation of my inner me my outer me me as a businesswoman a mother a wife you know a child of god a woman of god <laughs> all those things that are me uh, i hope your day is going well i also want to encourage those who may be dealing with something heavy maybe it's finances maybe someone passed away a loved one passed away or somebody who was close to you passed away due to covid or due to you know natural causes or an accident a murder whatever that may have been i just want to come and encourage you as well to you know grieve as far as concerning someone you've lost through death and as far as far as finances 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 or other situations are concerned that may be weighing you down right now just cast it off and give it to god even your hurts you know with grieving for your loved one um he's able to handle it he's big enough to handle all of it he's a very big god he is a strong god a powerful god he knows your pain already he knew it he knew it before you before it even happened to you but why did you allow it to happen god if you knew i used to ask these questions why did you let things happen to me when you already knew well he is a 
a God who is, how do I want to say it? He's a God that's, um, that's honest, that's true. And he's faithful to his word. You know, he honors his word above his name. And when he says that he's going to give his creation free will, he means it. He's not going to interfere and, you know, cause and just, you know, interrupt what we choose to do or, you know, the things that happen because of the evil in the world or the, the sicknesses and the diseases that are in the world because of sin. So, yes, he is a healer. Yes, he is a deliverer. Yes, he is a restorer of all that's great, you know. But there, some things has to happen. And you know what? Now, murder is one of those things that, you know, God, why did this happen? You know, well, the person who chose to do the murdering chose to do it. But God, why didn't you stop them? How do you know that he didn't try? How do you know that he didn't speak to them? Because just like they heard the enemy speaking to them to do it, they also heard a still small voice saying, don't do it. But what did they choose? They chose the other voice. So it's not God's fault. So I want you to know that, that it's not his fault. Don't blame him for the bad that happens in this world because it was man's decision that got us into this position in the first place. Adam and Eve, for those of you who don't believe that, I'm sorry for you, but it's truth. God created man in his image and after his likeness and we were to live forever but because of what Adam and Eve did in the garden it, it, it interrupted God's plan but he had another plan because he's God so he already knew because it's like it's like a manufacturer right who say Ford that's been one of the oldest companies in the world that you know I think they were the first ones to invent a car I'm not sure I can't remember the history but y'all know Ford they've been around forever right so Mr. Ford or whomever his name is you know I can't remember but he got this idea from God that hey let me develop this car because you know all this walking ain't gonna do for the human race anymore you know they walk way back in about in those days back way back when when Jesus was here but uh that's not gonna work for us so let me develop this 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 thing you know this creation invent this this vehicle that will help people go further than where they can go you know on foot so he wrote out the plan he got some his homeboys with him probably you know hey let's work this thing out how can we do this how can we do that what can we do you know and so then he put it to the test and he put it to the test now God says don't you know he don't tempt anybody at the same time we are um we are in situations to where we have to make decisions right so if you want to call that a test then that's a test because every day we're faced with making decisions about how we're going to live this life whether we're going to live it according to god's statue honoring him if we know him or we're going to live it according to the world's way you know you can't serve two masters. Either you're going to hate the one and love the other or serve the one and, you know, dismiss the other. That's what his word says. So when people want to blame God for bad things happening in this world, no, look at you. Look at the history of mankind. Mankind is the one who sinned against God when he told them not to eat of the fruit in the garden. He said it. Don't eat from this tree. You got all this to enjoy. But that one thing I tell you not to do, come on parents, you know what I'm talking about. That one thing you tell your child not to do, they end up doing it, right? So these are the consequences, but God had a plan and he, had, he, he made sure that he himself would come here in the form of his only begotten son, which is himself in the form of flesh, Jesus the Christ, the anointed one, the son of God, came through his own creation, Mary, to die for us to give us a chance and a hope that we don't have to die in our sin. There is a there's a way of escape. That's what he says in his word. There's a way of escape for us. We don't have to be bound by the ways of the world. We don't have to be bound by the consequences because of our bad behaviors and our bad choices, which is sin. All of it's sin. I don't care what it is. If it goes against who God is and what his order is and his foundation of how the world is supposed to be, originally his original blueprint it's sin okay all of it so we can't blame god 
He's a great God. He's a good God. And he made a plan. Man messed up. He gave rules. He 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 told him what to do. He created him in his image. He he, you know, okay, let me see what my creation's gonna do. That's just like Mr. Ford. Let me see what this car gonna do. Let me see what man is gonna do. I'm giving him free will to make a choice to do right versus wrong. But they didn't have to know what wrong was, but yet they allowed the serpent to tempt, to put in their ear the exact opposite of what God said. Many are discussing, well, you know, if it had not been for you, no. He gave the rule to man, to Adam. That's why the man is supposed to be the head of the house. God gives the order. Okay? I ain't going into all that. But I'm just saying, okay? So whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever challenges you're finding yourself faced with, whatever hurts that are happening right now in your life, give it to God. No matter how hard it is, no matter how, if you feel like he can't handle it, I promise you, he can. Come a little closer. Let me whisper in your ear. He can handle it. Okay? All of it. Okay? He's just that bad like that. He's that good God. That's that good good. Ain't nobody or anything greater than him. So be encouraged. Get to know him. Get the hookup. That's the real hookup. Okay? You talking about hookup? No, that's the real hookup. Okay? Getting to know Jesus Christ for yourself. Every day is not going to be wonderful, but I guess, let me tell you this. It may not always be wonderful, but you got a wonderful God who's fighting for you all day, period. Okay? So y'all be blessed. Like and subscribe. Share this with someone because the word that I just spoke to you guys, the, the encouragement, it's going to bless somebody. It blesses me because I was in that place not too long ago, an hour ago, worrying that he and he says don't don't be anxious for anything i'm his child why are you worrying about this world and the cares of the world the finances and this and that and the other why are you worrying didn't i tell you to cast your cares upon me because i care for you didn't i tell you to seek ye first the kingdom of god and all this and all his righteousness and then those things will be added to you didn't i tell you not to worry about what you shall eat or drink or put on your body because i have that for you Trust me. That's all he's asking. Trust me. But Lord, I do trust you. Do you really? Because we're tested every day with trust, especially in the finances. He says to bring all of the tithe and the offerings into my house so it can be taken care of. Malachi 310. Oh, but nobody wants to hear that. Oh, the pastors, they using them when they're passing this, the pastor. Does. Don't worry about them. God got them. Trust. If they not doing with that money what they supposed to be doing to edify the saints and to build in the kingdom of God, meaning keeping a place for people to come together and worship and be filled and be renewed and refreshed and prayed for and all these kinds of things, trust God got that. You ain't got to worry about the pastors. Especially those who are called. And then those that are not, who just sees it as a business opportunity because this is the thing that people are looking for. They're looking for some hope. So you shining, you dangling the carrot in front of them and putting the word of God on it, but you don't even know God yourself. Behold and watch out. Know God for yourself, okay? Yes, we need pastors. Why? We need pastors after God's own heart. Why? Because the people need to be taught. Somebody needs to be connected to God to where they can reach people and touch people and be him touching people. It's God doing it through them. It ain't them. Stop lifting up your pastors, people. They're flesh just like you. They just have a, a, an authority that God has given them. And they are accountable for everything that they do. Let me free somebody today. Don't put that pastor, male or female, in God's place because you're going to get them got. Don't do it. When they fall, then you want to turn and, and get mad at God. No, 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 no. They're still flesh. Pray for them. They're tempted even more than you are because they're in that position. Okay? Have you thought about that? So pray for them as they pray for you. Many of them are going to the battle for you guys and you don't even know. We don't even know the magnitude of most of these pastors who are truly not compromising their um, integrity, who are not compromising the word of God just to feed the flesh. No. 
You really don't know how much they fight. Even people in their own family are coming against them. We don't know. Pray for them. They're praying for you. I don't know how I got on that, but it, it needed to be said, I guess. But y'all be blessed. Share this with somebody. Encourage somebody to then. I pray that you are blessed and encouraged as well. You can go through and you can make it to another day. Just give it to God. I promise you it'll be all right. I feel better now. I'm not worried about nothing that's going on right now. What's not happening. What I want to happen, I'm not, I'm not doing it because I ain't got time for the stress, okay? I'm too blessed to be stressed, for real. Period. How they say that. Whoever made that up. But it's it's point blank period. It's over. It's it's done. God got this. I'm just going to focus on him. And when it comes up again, because I know it's going to come up again, I'm going to do the same thing. Shake it off. Hmm. <laughs> okay, y'all be blessed. Like and subscribe. Bye.